Hello Gunpla fans, it's Speedball Harrow and today for you guys a quick video on the Bandai's Builder's Parts System Base 001. Simply put, this is a stand piece that pretty much references like a hangar bay uh, display setup. And it's a really cool one actually after I've uh, after I built this and such I've tinkered with it and I really like it because it's really cool it's got nice details on it and of course uh, if you want to paint details onto it it's not that hard to do and such and of course uh, this would be perfect for those who like diorama pieces hangar bay display setups things like that this would be a perfect piece for that and what's really cool is that as I can show you right here. Give me one sec. The way this works is it doesn't just, um, well, as you know, most base stands and such usually would allow you to do like an action pose. This one, however, does a different setup, which allows you to do a standby pose, a launch pose, and once I move this up and down, I can now do a docking and repair mode. So if you're someone that loves to do a piece where you can have, well, in this case, your IOX, RX-78 uh, ready to be repaired or core fighter removed. This would be a perfect setup for that. And being this is for 144 scale, you, of course, have plenty of options there for that. <laughs> and, of course, another fun feature this little kit has is, as you can see here, you get a full weapon rack, which allows you to display the weapons off your mobile suit, mecha, armor girl, etc. Uh, for any way you want. And the cool part is this is adjustable, so if you have like a big uh, sword, cannon, bazooka, whatever, uh, of course you can adjust this either long or short, depending on the weapon, and however, you know, tall, however wide it is up and down. And of course, with simply connecting with these hooks you see right here, if I can get that to focus, there we go. Let me move this out of the way real quick. And the way it works, simply put, is you just attach that into there. And there you go. Let me just move it sideways. And there it is. You adjust that up and down, however, for the weapon. And, of course, you can adjust this on either side of this hanger. You don't just have to keep it where I have it. Because you'll get an extra setup of these that you can put on this side right there see and as i've shown you oh and before i mention forget this as you can see right there i've attached these connecting parts that you can use to connect other uh system based stands to this so that's pretty cool now someone had asked me can you attach an rg zeong Onto this because understand there's no pegs or anything like that to you know plug into the your kit to keep it on it just stands there and such uh, and to answer that question I can't say because I don't have an RG Zeong uh, built to do that yet but I do have a substitute and that is an HD Zeong it may not be as big as the RG but it's a uh, well close enough to at least attempt this so if you guys give me one second, I can, well, find out. <laughs> and there you have it, guys. You can actually store an R, well, not RG at this point, but you can store a, a 144 Zeong type mobile suit on this stand, which is really nice because all I had to do is, as you might notice, it seems a bit wider and that's because it is. This stand, of course, can extend outward to f accommodate many 144 scale type kits. And as, as it did before, you can, of course, oops, sorry. <laughs> you can still adjust it to do that as well. And of course, if you don't want it on the pedals, as you can see, let's take the Zeong out real quick. So now I can show you this. As you can see, there is the foot panels that you can use for its standby setup. You can also use launching pads like these, I believe. I, at least that's what I think these are. It doesn't mention on the manual. Uh, pretty much what it is, you replace the foot panels with one of these for either the, width, the wide setting or the slim setting. And, of course, you put your 
model, mecha, mobile suit, armor girl, whatever, on there to make it almost look like it's going to be ready for launch and such. So yeah, it's pretty simple and such like that. As you can see, this is a much difference now. But yeah, uh, yeah. lastly, uh, would I recommend this to you guys as a stand to use? Um, well, first off, let me show you some comparisons before I say that, actually. And I have for you guys to compare it with the well-known and well-liked uh, Action Pace 1. So as you can see, height-wise and such... It's uh, different, but that's because, of course, that's where the anchor is. I also have a custom scene base. Um, yeah, it's a lot different there, as you can see. So here, I'll lift it up so that way you guys can see the difference. And lastly, I have for you a, well, very well-known and very generic stand. Uh, so this is very generic. I think I got this from either one of my AOZ kits or an H kit. <laughs> but yeah, as you can see, yeah, there's a lot of differences between stands and this one. So yeah, so last, so back to what I stated, would I recommend this to you guys? Uh, yes, I do recommend it because it's a lot of fun. It's a really cool uh, display piece that you can do for hangers and all that. And hold on, I can even show you. Because what they did for this kit, when this was, of course, first released, because I understand this is not a new stand. This came back out in 2011, so that's over. That's just over 10 years now. So, yeah, but as you can see there in the picture, we actually have the unicorn. So, you can probably guess why, too. <laughs> but, yeah, that's a pretty cool setup. So, yeah, I would totally recommend this, guys, to you. And to show uh, some more what I mean... Uh, I've taken some pictures of other kits off my uh, collection uh, to show you guys. So if you stick around for uh, just a minute after this, you'll see a, a number of kits I've done with the stand in different positions, poses, and so on. So you guys get the idea of how this kit will look like. So yeah, so I thank you all for coming. I hope you all stay safe, are doing good, and enjoying your hobbies. And lastly, thank you all for coming.